we're going to need a shunt resistor, a bit like this. Um, doesn't have to be the exact same one as mine, but um, any shunt resistor. We're going to need an Arduino. I'm going to be using the Arduino Pro Mini, as I usually do, and I've got a UART. If you're using a Nano or an Arduino Uno, you're not going to need the FTDR UART, but that's up to you to sort out. Of course, the chip, which is the AD8215 chip, it's an excellent chip, but I need one of those. Um, mine's soldered into an adapter board, but yours may need that too, I don't know. Um, a breadboard. And a bunch of jumper wires. Oh, also, you're going to need two multimeters, and I'm going to be using a DC power supply too. Anyway, let's start. So I'll start by plugging the UART in to the breadboard. Okay. The chip itself, uh, that can go here. Okay, so I've got the FTDI, the Arduino, and the chip. Okay, so first things first, oh I need this as well, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my power supply and first of all, um, no current and no voltage, I'm going to connect up the power. So my power supply doesn't actually allow up to 20 amps, it allows 5 amps, so I'm not going to get the full 75 millivolt um, voltage drop across here, but that's okay, I'm only testing. So my power supply goes up to 5 amps, which um, that will do. So I've got that connected. The next thing I'm going to do is connect some wires to this. So I'll connect the red to here, that makes sense. And I'll connect the blue to here. Just like that. Okay, so this will provide me with the voltage drop from the shunt resistor. So I'll just move that out of the way for a minute. Right, so what do we need to do here? So pins 1 and 8 are from the shunt resistor. So I'll go back to that in a minute. Pin 2 and 7, well pin 2 is ground. So I'll do that first. So ground. So ground on the Arduino to pin 2 in my adapter and pin 2 is there. Next, uh, pin 7, nothing, pin 3, pin 6 is 5 volts so pin 6, 5 volts, so that should be this one pin 6 5 volts, which for some reason on this Arduino is labelled ACC um, I don't know why, but anyway. Then, um, 4 is nothing and 5 is out. So, 5. Right, 5. Which is that one? That one is out. Why is it? Out. Which I'll wire to, let's say, a. Let's say A1. Could use A0, but anyway. So. Left to wire up now is the shunt, so I'll just bring the shunt back again. So A minus, which is the ground side, is pin 1, so that goes here. And A uh, in plus is pin 8, which is that one. So basically, if I just rotate this, it's like, it's like that, and you can see, oh, if I just move this in, there you go, you can see it's wired the same as that. The actual conversion board for me flips at 90 degrees um, so yeah 90 degrees anti-clockwise I think but anyway so I've got it wired up and uh, I'll plug in the USB uh, mini USB we've got power so now what I need to do is connect 
the multimeters. So I'll just pull this out of the way. Right, so that's how we're looking so far. Okay, the multimeters. So what I want to do is I want to measure the voltage across here and I want to measure the voltage here. So to start with I want to measure this voltage and the reason why I want to measure this voltage is because I want to know what the actual voltage is, voltage is across this resistor before any amplification. So I need to do that first. So if I put a K, uh, wire in there and I'll put a wire in the ground, in well not the ground but the minus in so that's connected to the plus in and this is the minus in and let's use this one connect this up here and here and I'll bring this multimeter in play there's a lot of wires now it's starting to look messy I need to put this on millivolts this is going to be less I know for, for certain this is 5 amps and this is 73 sorry 75 millivolts over 20 amps so if you get 75 millivolts divided by 4 that's around is that around 20 millivolts something like that so um, that's the size it's going to go anyway okay 14.8 and that's as much as it's going but okay um, okay so that's working now we need one to measure the amplified voltage now so from A1 we need a probe and that the other side of the probe is going to go to ground which is this one and I'll bring the other voltmeter into the scene and this is going to be set at 20 volts DC actually we could set it to millivolts uh, yeah 2000 millivolts and I'll connect this up too so ground to ground and plus to plus hopefully these won't pop off straight away okay here we go so what I expect is that this one here is going to be that multiplied by 20 so let's start alright so let's check this out now and see what's actually going on here and see if this is working um, I assume it is working, but here we go. So it starts off at a voltage drop of minus uh, minus 0 0.5 or 4 millivolts, which is really nothing. On the output, it's, out it's outputting 33 millivolts. I'm not exactly sure why, but whatever. Let's let's see what happens. So let's start now. So I'll induce a voltage drop of say 1 millivolt. I'll just let some current pass through. At 1 millivolt, it's still reading 36, which is not useful. 2 millivolts, 3, let's start at 4. Right, so 4 millivolts, and it's reading 90, and it should be reading 80. But okay, it's, it's the very start of the, uh, the reading. So, okay, let's go a bit further. So 5 millivolts, uh, a 5 millivolt drop, and it's reading 110. Which okay, that that that's about right. Five multiplied by twenty is around about a hundred. Let's go a bit more. Seven should be reading about one hundred and forty, and it's reading one hundred and fifty. Okay, it's a little bit off actually, but you know, we'll we'll see. So eight that should be about one hundred and sixty-two, something like that. Nine should be about one hundred and eighty. Ten millivolts should be about two hundred. Uh, let's go up a bit more. Twelve and a half. That should be about two hundred and fifty. So yeah, uh, that should be about two hundred and seventy-two, something like that. So it is fairly linear. There's a little bit of a of an offset. It looks like, but um, it appears to be working. So I'll do this again, but I'll show you on screen. Let's turn this down. Okay, I thought I'd just quickly show you the code. So I've got. VPP which is voltage per point or voltage per count which you've probably seen before in my videos um, I've got another const float here which is amperage per millivolt which I can explain another time counts serial begin then print various things so print the count then um, 
then print the counts multiplied by voltage per point multiplied by a thousand to get millivolts. So that we're basically unconverting it if you like. So we're getting from count back to millivolts. Then we're getting the millivolts and mul and uh, uh, getting it back to what it would be before being amplified. And then we're getting the actual amperage, or trying to guess it anyway, by getting those values and multiplying it by APMV, which is amperage per millivolt, and outputting the value. So let's see what happens. I've got the serial console up, and if I just apply some amperage, there you go, that's 4.1 millivolts. And you can see that it's coming out with values here. So you can see there that it's saying about 80, 80 something millivolts, 4 millivolts, and 1.1 amp. So 80 and 4. And over here, it's saying 90 and 4.2 and 1.2. So I'll increase it a bit more. 8 millivolts, so 2.2, 8 millivolts, and 168. And over here it's saying 161, 8 millivolts, and 2.2 amps. So 168 and 2.2. So it was 160 something, 8 and 2.2. So we're right there. Let's go a bit further. 13.7 and 280 and over here we've got 13 280 so 280 13 and 3.7 280 13 and 3.7 so it's spot on so there's a bit of a limitation with my power supply and that is that at the moment I can only output th uh, around about 4 amps which of course ideally you'd want to test up to 20 but I don't have the means to do that at the moment nevertheless um, I do think this thing's working correctly so um, so I'm actually very happy and this is going to be made part of my solar project so there we go so that's how to read a large amount of amperage into an Arduino using a current shunt I hope you enjoyed the video thank you bye